So, my friend and I were talking about the Harry Potter movie and how they described these people called muggles in the world. And these muggles are these people who don't believe in magic. They don't know how to do magic. They think magic is uh, some fairy tale. And um, so we started to kind of laugh about it, you know, how there are so many people in the world like this. And um, got into this sort of like hierarchy thing, you know, of like people who believe in magic are better than people who don't believe in magic. And so there was this interesting exploration that happened about how we felt that we were creating a sense of separation instead of unity by saying that these muggles um, were just unconscious people who didn't know, um, you know, how to separate themselves from their ego, from their mind, from their thoughts, and they were lower than people who were more uh, spiritually awakened. And what's interesting is that there was like a sort of, um, you know, judgment around people who are muggles and um, that they shouldn't be muggles and you know um, that they should learn and wake up and and they're not where they're supposed to be so um, what's interesting about this whole thing of, of you know you know this identity that is created around someone who's a muggle and somebody who's not a muggle is that uh, yeah it does create a sense of separation when there is this emotional attachment in the body, when there's this idea like these people are not the way they should be, and there's a sense of like hierarchy, I'm better, I'm superior, they're inferior, because um, I can see that they're a muggle and I'm not. When in fact, you know, there's, I, I, what I'm realizing is that there's these various degrees of mugglehood. And so we all have a little bit of muggle in us, it's just like how much? is there and um, to not really judge that part of ourselves that is asleep or sleepwalking through our lives or unconscious of our own pain and uh, unable to be vulnerable with our own pain so this these are all the qualities of of what a quote quote muggle is in my world and um, and the other interesting thing is is that I realized that <laughs> When you, when you talk about a muggle, it's kind of like how you would talk about like an electrician or a plumber or a doctor. It's like these are things that they do. These are actions they do. So, you know, a doctor does surgery. A muggle will believe that the ego is real and they will live from ego. They will live from limitation. They will live from this place of this separateness um, of I'm better than you or you're worse than me and um, you know muggles muggle consciousness is like this sort of attitude um, that has no gratitude towards life and comes from this place that um, you know all thoughts are who you are that you every thought that comes through your mind is you and represents who you are and there's so there's no real separation between consciousness and thought for a muggle and though and so this is just a description just like you would describe what a doctor does in his doctor office this is what a muggle does in the muggles office you know in the, in the house of the muggle there's this constant constant following of thoughts and there's no consciousness at all that they're following thought and so again there's there's nothing wrong with this because we all do this to some various degree or another, right? It's just whether we're aware that we're doing it or not. So with that said, everyone's a muggle in disguise and yet there are some people who are less muggle-like than others and we're all part of the same tribe, ultimately. And um, yeah, it's just an interesting play, a uh, fascinating play and uh, something to really open up to it and explore in this uh, universe. Anyway, those were my few thoughts this morning and I uh, just wanted to share um, local consciousness with you. Thanks for listening.